What up, y'all? This is G, aka the Rhythmic Tongue, or Love the Rhythm, whatever my channel says these days. But uh, I've been looking into. Sorry, I just recently got a uh, surgery on the sinus area, nasty stuff. But anyway, my uh, speaking isn't as good as it can be, but I'll try to be as audible as I can. Anyway. <coughs> Recently, I've been looking into a lot of drum solo stuff and all that. So, Rodney Holmes, for those of you who don't know, is a beast and he has amazing articulation. Um, you know, look up his solos and stuff. For those of you who do know him, you know, of course, he has a famous, famous cowbell groove. I mean, it is, this thing is off the hook. It is. It is beast. It is cold. It is hot. It is just amazing. It's everything. So, you know, everybody loves it. So, I don't know how many videos there are on YouTube of this, but I decided to, you know, I wanted to do it. So, a couple days last week, I listened to it for a few hours, um, wrote stuff down, been touching it up all week, um, or I should say all the past weekend to today. So, uh, I'll play it for you right now so you can hear it. And later on, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna do it slow, I'm gonna do it fast, you know, to a T, so you can, you know, you can get it too, because this is awesome, and I don't want to just have it for myself. So, anyway, I'll play it right now. Gotta turn off my, out, my outcast, though, you know. <laughs> this is my jam. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a clown, for those of you who don't know me. But, here we go. This is video of Rodney Holmes, okay? This is the Modern Drummer 2005 Festival. So, here we go. This is the groove. What? Do it slow. It's harder to do it slower. So anyway, that's a solo. So now, let me go up to my drum set. I hope you guys could hear all that. You know, that it wasn't muddied and stuff. I tried to use my sound system so you could hear it clearly. But if you couldn't, I'm about to play it for you, all right? So here we go. Hopefully this thing's battery will last long enough. Sorry, I'm gonna make sure I have everything in my hand so I'm moving around a little bit. Okay, so yeah, anyway, this groove is awesome, um, I'm going to break it down, I'm going to do the simplest form of it, you know, like the rawest form of the groove, so you can hear, you know, how it's, you can hear the actual groove, you know, the pockets, if you will, of this groove. Because once you got the feel, all you got to do is get the articulation, you know, the 60 foots and everything that lies in between. So, here we go. Anyway, like I said, I uh, <laughs> technically just got this down today because, like I said, I had to touch up some stuff. I realized a couple things on the cowbell was wrong, but it turns out, here's the music for it anyway. For those of you who can read drum music, for those of you who can't, don't worry, I will break it down good enough, enough or well enough, whatever. Anyway, there it is. Now, because you don't know the groove, you don't know this, but... This is a two-bar phrase. That's not what you don't notice, but <laughs> this is a two-bar phrase. The uh, the first three sixteenth notes, one one meanda of the second bar right there. Um, that's wrong. <laughs> but you might see later if you write it down. Anyway, I'm gonna demonstrate it right for you. And like I said, I only finished this a couple days ago, so I'm kind of hashing it out. I don't have much time. Too much time anyway, but I have 15 minutes, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is the Ross, most basic form of the groove. One and two and three and four and sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That was a nice cut time. I hate cut time. <laughs> Last 
because they're not part of this game. Good to know. <laughs> That's one. That's a simpler form of the groove. It's like a drum and bass groove, you know. I'll count it out real quick one more time and do it for you slow. Alright, remember that. Get that in your mind. Pause this video if you have to. Get that down. Because you're going to want to remember that feel and that pocket. Drum and bass, okay. So, here is the groove. This is the body, the melody of the groove. the melody of the groove. So here we go. Since this is a two bar phrase, okay, I'm combining with okay, two bar phrase. I'm going to do the first bar slowly so you can get it. I'm going to count it out in sixteenths. Then I'll do the second bar slowly so you get it and I can count it out in sixteenths. Alright, so here we go. this out together because I can make some mistakes. It used to have it on the end when I load it, so like I said, if I do it on the end, just remember it's on the E, the second 16 notes. One E and the, okay? One, sorry, three E and the, okay? Third quarter note, second 16th note of that quarter note, the E of three, okay? Three E and the, three E and the, three E and the, okay? Remember that. I messed it up. I don't want to be to blame. And uh, all you trolls out there, by the way, on YouTube, you're like, don't try to teach me the drums. You don't know what you say. All right. If you want to sit down for three hours listening to this and then three days trying to make sure it's perfect, suit yourself. All right. But I'm going to help you out. So this is the whole groove fast. <laughs>
bar slowly, and the second bar slowly one more time. And remember to do it in the past so you can know how to close this out. And have a ball. for the groove, you know, don't play it exactly the same, you don't want to be a clone of Ronnie Holmes, but that's the basic groove, so you can get it down and then make it awesome for yourself. <laughs> to the end of this video and you're like oh man I wish you would have done it more slowly well that's what a rewind button is on the video for on YouTube so you can go over that as much as you want you can get it down past to the slow as fast as you want make sure you get it have fun alright like I said peace God bless <laughs>